Captain, children, young and old. Continue to listen if you truly feel bold to a show discussing your favorite frights. Entertainment that tends to go bump in the night. Hosted by the spectacular Dave, a man you'll wish they would put in a grave. So lie in your coffins and seal your fate. It's time, boys and girls, for recapitate! <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Recapitate. My name is Dave Cattaville, and you're listening to the only show where it's good to hear evil. Today with me on the show, I have a very special guest. He's a good friend, an animator, an artist. Please welcome the one and only Perry Hall. What's going on, man? Hello! It is I, Perry. <laughs> Indeed, it is. <laughs> I, I don't know. Hey, man, what's up? <laughs> this is going to go swimmingly, I can tell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was that was that your attempt at a shitty Norwegian accent by chance? Uh, you know what? Uh, it wasn't, but let's act like it was. Is this a segue <laughs> into uh, into what we're talking about? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> That's up to you, bud. <laughs> am I am I what we call special? Quite possibly. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'll just yeah. That all. Uh, anytime you ask me a question about the about the movie we're gonna be doing is uh, is just yes and no's. So, <laughs> what happened to me, man? <laughs> I don't know. I was I was happy once. Yeah. I. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that anymore. I I, co- I come to do this show and I just I just cry on the inside. Dude, I I, I cry on the inside all the time. Oh, dude. Speaking of crying on the inside, let's talk about <laughs> Troll Hunter. <laughs> yes, Troll Hunter, the animated Netflix movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> True life, I, I cannot tell you, because I, I was so pissed off, because when you wanted to do this movie, I was literally like, isn't that a, a cartoon series? <laughs> and I had watched the first episode of it, because I was like, okay, well, this episode's not going to be for a while. He wants to do a series. And then something in the back of my mind was like, wait a minute. I talk to Perry all the time. I don't think he's going to make me watch a, t- a whole s- season of a show. What are we talking about? He's like, oh, it's this film from Norway. And I'm like, shit. So, I just- <laughs> so you wasted your time on the DreamWorks animated movie that i was planning on talking about but then you're like no we're doing the other we're doing the norwegian one actually we're going to talk about uh the trolls <laughs> <laughs> the trolls with uh with justin timberlake and okay, uh wait a minute. I'm, and, I'm, and and anna paquin i want to take a page out of uh, our friend uh josh's uh book and if you haven't watched the uh the trolls animated movie trailer I'm gonna link it because there's this the lie delivery the narrator gives when he says trolls. It's, it's the funniest fucking thing in the world. The, uh, the trolls. <laughs> oh, it's great! It's great. We're having a good time. We are. So yeah. Anyway, we're gonna talk about Troll Hunter. Mm-hmm. Which is a movie from Norway. It's the first foreign film I'm talking about on this show. Ooh, nice. I don't speak another language, but you know what? That might help. Well, I, I, this is my uh, quota for my cultural appropriation for the year. Of course. Of course. So, uh, thank you for making sure I, I, fit <laughs> yeah. the, I, I fit the quota. Absolutely. You know, that, that's, that's what I do. I, I make sure that everyone is culturally appropriated. It's like the equivalent of me hiring, like, all different colors of the rainbow. Yeah. But instead I'm just talking about a horror movie. So it's like it's like a lot less racism in my mind, you know? Ah, eh. Listen, I mean, you know, you could call you can call a specific race a troll <laughs> or uh something and uh you know, you could someone could easily miss uh you know, misinterpret that. Who who would you think is the most troll like of all the races? Hmm. The most troll like Peruvians. Yeah, considering I don't know jack shit about them, I'm gonna give them a hard time. Hey, <laughs> if, if there are any Peruvians listening to my show, you're not welcome here. <laughs> go go you know what, go contribute to the Patreon. But oh God. you're not welcome here. <laughs> God damn it. I was trying to, like, not be that guy. Like, I was going to be, like, ease into the whole Patreon thing. Like, 
like you know when you tell like if if like if your kid goes to summer camp and you accidentally kill their goldfish, like you don't want to tell you don't you, you don't want to tell them like right at first <laughs> that it's like oh uh, Blubby got flushed down the fucking toilet. Oh, you want to ease them in and Poor say Blubby. oh no uh, Blubby we, we took him out. Your your neighbors watching him. <laughs> He took him out for a walk. We took Blubby out <laughs> for a for, walk. We took him for a walk in the <laughs> toilet. And it's like, I don't know. He just didn't come back. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. There was, <laughs> there was, um, I had this aquarium, right? And, uh, we, we had, we, you know, we put, we put some little dangle dang fish in there. I like this one fish. He was, he was a nice blue and yellow, uh, little, little fish. And he was neat. Um, and then we had this other fish. He was a little bigger. He's kind of a bully. So much of a bully that he ate all the other fish's eyes, including oh my fuck the, the, blue, the blue and gold one that I really liked. So we had to flush the blue and gold one. He ate their eyes? Yes, ate their eyes. And they would still be swimming around. And, uh... Yeah, so <laughs> we we took we took the one we took the perpetrator and we flushed him down. <laughs> Fuck! Why are we why are we talking about this? We can talk about the horror movie that is your former <laughs> fish tank. Yeah, dude, have I told you about my turtle? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you about my turtle. I don't care what the listeners <laughs> care about right now. But <laughs> this, will be the, okay. this will be the second episode in a row where they don't get to the topic <laughs> until ten minutes in. <laughs> If I could, could possibly be. Oh, well. but I had okay. So I had a lot. Of, I had a lot of different pets growing up, mm-hmm. and uh, I I had these turtles. I loved reptiles as a kid, and even to this day, I think reptiles and birds are kind of like the coolest kind of animals. But um, I had I had turtles, uh, little painter turtles, and they were great. Um, but we, I mean, we didn't really have an aquarium for them. So what we did, actually, I think we did. But what we did was in the summer, we let them out. Um, or, or you know those you know those little uh, baby pools that you that you see like in front of Walmart during the summer. I like the infl- like the little uh, the like, plastic yeah. ones, the blue plastic yeah, okay, ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With those shitty like okay. water slide built into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the exact same. Um, so uh, my my dad and I just put sand in it, or I should say my dad. I just watched, and uh, my dad put sand on one side so the turtles could you know uh, they didn't have to always swim. And then we filled it up with you know with water you know so they could swim around it was it was pretty good they couldn't you know get out and you know they just had a good time with a big place to hang around with you you throw worms in there they love to eat worms it was a good time um there was one night where uh, a terrible terrible storm and uh i woke up the next day and i saw that i only saw one turtle uh my dad said one of them left one of them got away because uh, the the bath or the baby pool over flooded and I guess it just ran away as turtles do sure. they sprint um, <laughs> and uh, the other one <laughs> the other one <laughs> uh, was laying upside down dead <laughs> with a <laughs> with a hole right through the middle oh it my got God. struck by lightning holy shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> a turtle got struck by lightning that's awesome <laughs> I, I'm oh, sorry. I, I know. I know your pet got electrocuted, but that's fucking awesome. Yeah, like at 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 the time, I'm like, I wasn't even. I wasn't even like hurt. I was like, whoa. Like you were just like how? Yeah, I was. I was a wee. Your dad. Too, your dad yeah. was like, son. I gotta go buy a lottery ticket right now. <laughs> I'm taking this turtle with me. <laughs> the corpse of the turtle is just sitting in the passenger seat of the car as he goes to like the convenience store <laughs> and. And, and, and like it's just slaying there like upside down, but but like like but he puts the seatbelt on just in case. He just he just I, takes it. In, he goes inside. He has the turtle. He's like, I'll take a power ball. He just slams the turtle on the fucking desk. He pays with the turtle. Yeah. How much can I? How much can I get for this uh, fried turtle? Oh, I don't know, man. Some good stuff. Well, speaking of uh, trolling the audience by not talking about a horror movie, <laughs> let's talk about Troll Hunter. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Um, so, uh, you picked this one. Uh, yes, I did. Wh- why do you like it so much? Okay. Um, how I even found this movie was uh, kind of interesting. Um, I, I don't want to say interesting, but it was. Uh, 
It was it was more interesting than saying, "Hey, that looks like a fun movie. Let's watch it." Uh, I was, was coming it more home. interesting than a turtle being electrocuted for the chest. No, it's not. And so I set the bar too high. Yeah, you uh, did. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, and a eye eating fish. So, um, you know. <laughs> the the normal stuff. Yeah, as per usual, you know. Um, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Here in Fort Recovery, Ohio, we like to shock our turtles <laughs> and heat our fish's eyes. It sounds but, like an it sounds like an innuendo for something, but I'm not smart enough to uh, make it. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll let your audience uh, figure that yeah. one out. We'll figure that out, twelve year olds. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> All your audience is 12 year fucking, olds. My audience is fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Donate to me on Patreon. <laughs> okay. Um, so the way I found Troll Hunter. <laughs> <it's a> <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, I, I, I came back uh, from, from my first college. And um, it was like Christmas. It was like Christmas break, you know, and... Uh, like 2010 Christmas break, you know, this is first time coming back since even graduating high school, you know, and seeing all my friends and whatnot. And uh, one night we decided to go to one friend's house and um, we're like, hey, uh, let's let's go to, you know, we hung out in his basement where all of his like, you know, his 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 den essentially was, you know, the man cave. And yeah. uh, we just we just threw on um, I think there's like maybe five, six of us or something like that. And we just were like, hey, let's just look on Netflix, see what movies there are. And um, and we're like, let's just watch a bad movie. Let's find a bad movie, a bad yeah. Netflix movie. You know, it's it, it, let's let's just go and make fun of it, you know, like Mystery Science Theater 3000 kind of thing. My friends and I do those nights, too, sometimes. We'll just, like, order a pizza, get some beer, and then just, like, troll the Netflix horror section. And there's oh, just... Oh, yeah. Especially from, like... 2011 till now it's just a bunch of like low budget crap oh my gosh yeah absolutely my my podcast i used to do uh with a couple friends that's what we did at first we just watched um we watched uh bad movies and made fun of them but it really didn't like transition well in an audio podcast talking about a movie (laughs) yes um yeah so uh go look up three guys one projector if you Subtle plug. Don't, you don't have to. You don't have to. But um, anyway, so we're so we're like, hey, huh, what's this one? Troll Hunter. Oh, this has got to be rich. And so we start watching it, and uh, we're like, oh no, it's a foreign movie. Ugh, we got to read. Ugh. Yeah, I was gonna complain about that. Like, you gave me a reading assignment. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm with you. Uh, this is one of those. I guess so far rare cases where I hadn't seen the movie before, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and I, I I will preface this by saying I liked it a lot. Yeah, but, exactly. That's yeah. Sorry, go on. But go on. I I wanted to watch it, not read it. How dare you make me? Uh just, yeah. I can't I can't <laughs> believe I had to sit through another culture's entertainment. <laughs> you got trolled by the troll hunter boy. Die. Anyway, continue. <laughs> No, but just kind of like in your, uh, like you just said, it turned out to be good. So he yeah. sat there and shut up, and we're like, oh, all right, you know. It, 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 the reading wasn't that bad, I, I don't think. And I'm a guy that doesn't like to read. I haven't read anything in forever. Like, whenever I read something on the internet or, you know, on my computer, I just highlight it, right-click, and let it read to me because I got time to t- I don't have time <laughs> for that. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Do it, dude. It takes you can do so many other things while your computer reads to you, <laughs> but it makes you a bad reader. I'll tell you that right now. I'm a bad reader. Uh, not that I was ever a good reader, but um, but I guess that's a testimony to the movie, though. Um, it's a Norwegian film, and uh, every it's all in uh, their 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 language, and uh, anytime you do hear like English, it's always like your ears kind of perk up, like what. <laughs> did you did you have that? Oh, uh, because they did. There was some English in it. Yeah, well, I was gonna say like it, it switched back and forth. Sometimes it was mostly Norwegian, but there was occasionally like where they would kind of for short bursts go into English. Mm-hmm. I think to kind of emphasize like major things. There was also that guy from Poland who spoke really bad English. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I guess we should kind of explain what the plot of the movie is. Yeah. Let's yeah. Let's talk about the movie. We've already talked about turtles and and. Uh, and, and plugging podcasts and all yeah, that good yeah. stuff. But uh, let's let's talk about yeah. the movie. So Troll Hunter is basically 
kind of the title is very specific. It's it's about a guy who hunts trolls, technically. Mm-hmm. And we're not talking yeah. about like little like the trolls, like cute little yeah. uh fairy tale creatures. We're talking about like huge tree sized monsters. monsters. And it's basically about these three uh are they in college or university? Like it's. I think they are. Yeah. Th- it's a, basically this university news group who are going to this area in Germany, I believe is the location, mm-hmm. uh, in bear hunting country, and they're going there to yeah. explore yeah. the disappearance of like these bears. Like somebody is killing them off, like during the hunting season when they shouldn't have the rights to. Yeah. And they go and they find out that it's this mysterious guy named Hans. Who is uh, Hans van Harken? Yeah, the one and only. Yeah, he's not listening to this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Hans van Harken is—he's uh, <laughs> the troll hunter who lives inside of an RV covered in uh, troll semen, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, essentially, um, troll stench. Yeah, I guess that's the word. It's it's goopy, but mm-hmm. uh, basically, these kids are like tracking him down, like to get the story. Their names are Thomas, Janelle, and the last one's like Kali or something. I, I it's yeah, a weird, yeah, Kyle, something like that. And they they follow him like on this ferry system to see what he's doing. Just stalking the guy. Yeah, pretty much like to a point where it's like they're going a bit far just to get this kind of college story. Mm-hmm. It's a found footage film. I don't know if we uh, said that. It or is. Not, but yeah. yeah, I should say that. Uh, it is a found footage film. It's not terribly shot though Mm -hmm. which is what i kind of give it like a lot of found footage films do get kind of disorienting yeah this one actually because there are segments it's it's also shot like a documentary i should say yeah yeah it's not it's not like a cloverfield or something where the whole time it's like whoa the camera's like everywhere it's like there are times where like they're doing interviews with people Mm -hmm. because like it's supposed to be set up like they're trying to make a project in the movie so they like they actually do have like stable shots and stuff. Mm-hmm. There's also like night vision shots, which are really cool. Like yeah. when they show the trolls, because that's the one of the first times you see the trolls is in night vision, right? Yeah, yeah, right. In the short summary, they track this guy down. He eventually caves and is like, "All right," because they follow him into the forest one night where he's like hunting one with a flashlight. Oh, oh, one of them, the main anchor dude, Thomas, gets bit by something Mm -hmm. and he's like all right i'll give you a deal i'll take you to kill whatever bit you but you have to do exactly what i say and he basically tells them oh we're going to hunt trolls and they're like trolls you're silly yeah those don't exist these are fairy tales Ah!" (laughs) and so they go into the forest and it turns out it is real and these trolls like we said are huge oh yeah rock-like creatures Mm-hmm. And the first one we see is like three heads. Three heads. It was like a woodland troll too. There's like two different kinds yeah. of trolls. There's woodland trolls and then there's mountain trolls. But yeah, go, go on, go on. I was gonna say that like the CGI isn't bad, but it's a little dated. It's a little dated. I think it. I think that it's fine for it being you know made in 2010. Also, it was a low budget film. And so it was a that. low budget film. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Yeah, you have been warned, uh, people that are looking for something to criticize. <laughs> and that's, like, really my only criticism about the movie. Like, I mean, I think that's just me kind of wishing that there was, like, a guy in, like, a rubber suit or something. <laughs> yeah. But it's fine. It does work for what it is. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically, like, they're they're getting scared away. They can't believe their eyes. And the dude turns one of them to stone in front of them. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, trolls are real. Holy shit, we have the story of the century, as you yeah. might imagine. Because they're literally saying, like, he is a troll hunter, but, like, technically by, I guess it's sort of like the Environmental Protection Agency equivalent in Germany. Yeah, yeah. Who is, like, for some reason, this guy, Hans, is, is like, letting them record everything and telling mm-hmm. them everything. And the head guy does not like that at all. Mm-mm. Not at all. In fact, he at one point says, you're not going to keep those tapes. Yeah. It, it basically is about them going on this adventure with uh, this really cool kind of rugged guy who hunts trolls. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That's the main plot of it. There's a lot of like really 
cool and interesting little tidbits that are thrown in there. I hate to jump the gun, but I do want to get to my favorite part real quick. Yeah, let's go for it. There's one part in it <laughs> that made me laugh way harder than it probably should have. Yeah. Um, the part where they find the troll under the bridge when they lay the goats out. Yeah. And then Hans is like, I'm going to show you how it's done. And he gets bitch slapped into the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I laughed out loud because of just how, like, completely out of nowhere that was. Oh, absolutely. Because, like, the, his body just went to 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 and he's in, like, a, a shitty suit of armor. <laughs> yeah. Um. And another thing that was kind of, like, a nice little detail with that is that they put three billy goats on top of the hill or on top of the bridge. Yeah. For the uh, three billy goats gruff. Uh, fairy tale. That's the thing, too. It's like, like we said, these trolls are menacing, right? They're huge. But they kind of follow that fairy tale mentality at times. Oh, yeah. They they look like, um, like their their designs are very, um, old world kind of, uh, illustrations that you would see from, uh, you know, that kind of post uh, medieval era is the best way to, I can put it. Sure, we're not talking like Oh my god, Troll 2. No. We're not no, talking about no, no, like yeah. that. And we're not even talking about, you know, like the troll doll stuff. I mean, some people might have thought we were talking about the troll dolls, man. I no, mean, that's... Go, going back to the trolls. The trolls. Um, that, that meme is going to be dead by the end of this, but Dude, it's like. It, it will. <laughs> um, no, actually, like some of them, like. They're, they're kind of designed after that old world, but they kind of have that, like, Shadow of the colossus yeah, esqueness yeah. to them. Because mm-hmm. they are creepy, I will say that. Oh, absolutely. And this movie isn't, like, super scary at all. No. I wouldn't say that. Uh, I mean, if, if you don't like things chasing you through the woods, there is that element. There's a good... A lot of that stuff is well done, I think. Yeah. Uh, the, night, the night vision stuff is probably the creepiest part. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I mean, if you're if you're going from you know hearing something chasing you and then you put your uh, put your night vision goggles on and you can see it, I, I I don't know. I think I think the abruptness of that and uh, you know getting chased by something and then actually seeing it, I, I don't know. I think that I think that is like like you said the mo- the scariest part of it. Yeah, I mean overall, this movie just sort of it's way more of a. Uh spectacle piece in a way where it's like Mm -hmm. you're kind of here to see like these things through the eyes of these kids and this guy who's done this a million times yeah because trolls don't exist and and to the people in this world they don't exist apparently but when they see it it kind of like has that like jurassic park moment like the da 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 like when they first see it except the thing is gonna fucking kill them yeah 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 not as whimsical it has a very good reveal i will say Mm -hmm. when it comes marching through the trees yeah oh absolutely and uh i think you mentioned that the way they killed him was uh, by the light of a uh, that, that's attached to the truck yes and um like uh, kind of like i mentioned about there's a lot of tidbits a lot of interesting tidbits uh that they add in the in the movie to kind of just give a little more life to uh I don't want to say the lore, you know, just giving a little life, giving a little science um, to to this, to this, like a reason why they don't come out at night. Oh, I I don't think we mentioned that. They don't ever come out during the day. Um, No, they don't. And uh, the way you can kill them is by flashing UV lights uh, at them. And they meet a doctor, uh, a a research scientist person, um, and then they ask, like, why do they explode, why do they die, why do they turn into rocks. They do a lot of things with these UV rays. Um, It's because they can't can't process vitamin D or vitamin C, whatever the the sun gives you. Uh, They they can't process that, so uh, shooting them with UV lights is pretty effective. To say the least. Yeah, like I said, in the, in the first one they see, he, he gets turned to stone. And then the second one that we see, it was like literally under a bridge. Just He goes in and explodes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I think it was kind of funny when the... The one we were talking about with the Hans on the bridge with the billy goats, uh, he... He like dressed up in like this suit of armor just to like go <laughs> go. It, w- it was all rusted and stuff too. Which yeah, was the best part. Oh yeah, it was so funny. But uh, he he's going up in this suit of armor and uh, he's like, I really hate this. And he walks in. And he has to take a large syringe and gets like a blood sample from this uh, specific one. And it isn't I think 
the whole plot was uh, about how the trolls are getting a little more. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it, but essentially they're kind of... Uh, they're expanding their territory when they shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're expanding their territory, and, like, the mountain trolls and the forest trolls are starting to, like, starting to, you know, do battle at night, uh, which you don't see, yeah. but, you know, I mean, it's it's getting to be a problem because the, the citizens um, are starting to hear it and they're starting to question they're like what is up with this you know yeah and they basically blame it on like uh tornadoes and uh bears, bears too when they, like, yeah. they fake like they have these like bear print things and they have like this polish <laughs> company that comes in like the polish paint service that brings like a stuffed bear yeah or and, and a they, real bear a quote-unquote real bear I, uh, I said that because it doesn't look like okay, a real Oh, abs- okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, that, I was gonna also that, that, that was the other I'm thing. Like, that is just a guy in a bear suit. <laughs> yes, it is. There, there yes, is, is, there is no uh, if ands or buts. That is a man in a bear suit. But hey, you know when you spend most of your uh, budget on having relatively nice 3D animation, uh, you're gonna have to do the bear suit. It's true. Everybody's got to take a, a, a bear suit, uh, you know, once in a while. It, it's it's a sacrifice we all have to make. It's, it's... Remember when Nicolas Cage did it? Remember when he punched that woman in the face? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's it's a classic bear suit conundrum. That's a movie I don't recommend, Wicker Man. The original's good, but the, the remake's a Nicolas Cage movie. So are you going to get Nicolas Cage on here and uh, you're going to talk about Wicker Man? Oh, Dave, I don't know why you don't like my movies. They're really good. <laughs> Gosh, what is he, Napoleon Dynamite? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I'm, 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 we're my fucking tots. Yeah, remember that classic? Uh, you know, what? let's stop talking about Troll Hunter. Let's talk about Napoleon Dynamite. God, I want to blow myself <laughs> up with Napoleon Dynamite. Boo, boo! Shut up! You can't boo me boo. on my own program. <laughs> I'll boo you right back. Boo. Get, now this is where you add a sound effect where you boo me. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just going to like add an obnoxious amount of reverb right here. So just boo. <laughs> I don't know why I'm in Tours of the Jungle right there. Tours of the Jungle Tarzan. Boo. <laughs> I'm very tired. Uh, this is why this is the best episode ever. This is this is why. Hear be- that, James Rolf? You have nothing on this. One. Oh shit! Shots <laughs> fired. Shots fired at the at the angry video uh, game nerd himself. Listen, I'm gonna take you back to the past. <laughs> You're a shitty game that sucks ass, Perry. I don't even know what that means, but I hope it's insulting. <laughs> Listen, back to Troy. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go, go, go ahead. <laughs> Segway your way back into this. So, so, so as uh, as our heroes are, are, are following around Hans van Harken, as we say, uh, he's, he's sitting there twirling his beautiful mustache, and uh, he's like, all right, guys, I, I can't do a Hans van Harken uh, impersonation, but just imagine Hans van Harken saying, we gotta, we gotta get the trolls, boys. We gotta... We gotta go get him. And uh, <laughs> actually, talking about the movie though, um, I'm just trying to think of all like the little things that happened. Um, oh, here's one. Here's why I can't be a troll hunter. All right, because apparently, if you if you're a Christian, they smell your blood. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that that's a plot device too. And I thought it was kind of interesting. So uh, yeah, I can't be a I can't be one because I'm a Christian. <laughs> Yeah, internet hates my kind, so it's all right. But uh, but no, anyway, <laughs> back back to that plot device though. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> I, I I assumed that that is something that was like an old timey thing. I think it was. It might have something to correlate with the whole, you know, I smell the blood of an Englishman kind of thing. Oh yeah, fee fi fum yeah. fum yeah. I guess because a lot of you know Englishmen were of course Christians at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That's like my best guess. As far as why that would work. Yeah. And it's revealed that, oh no, the cameraman is a Christian, even though he lied. And, and Hans at the beginning is like, none of you are Christian, right? And they look at each other like, Psh, no, Psh, no. He's like, I went to Bible choir once and I hated it. <laughs> I went- <laughs> let, let me I tell you, to- that Jesus guy, <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what a dummy. Yeah, no, but, um, so, they actually are hiding in a, uh, 
Well, uh, they weren't just hiding it. They didn't go there to hide. Uh, they were they were searching for some trolls, some specific mountain trolls. After uh, uh, some farmer was like, "There was a tornado that went through uh, this thing," and it's like, "Yeah, it was totally a tornado." But I didn't hear any, uh, I, I didn't know that there was supposed to be a tornado last night. It's like, yeah, I know, they just kind of pop up. And so they uh, actually go searching for these uh, so these mountain trolls. And they go into their their den, their lair, their their cave. They're just looking around and uh, they're like, oh, there's no one here. Uh, nothing's in here. So they're just, you know, they're looking around, whatever. And they get too deep to where the uh the trolls come home and it's a it's a it's a it's a group of trolls yeah. it's like a pack of trolls and they're these you know these big big hairy things and um you know so like ah we got to go we got to go and um they they find themselves in a very small little uh hole like it would literally is a hole in the wall um that they were going to hide until you know they could escape but uh, they apparently the hole in the wall was in the catacombs of their sleeping chambers so they actually block the way, they block the entrance, so they can't get out. They have to spend the night. And um, one way to uh, be able to not let the trolls detect you is that 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 troll stench that Hans makes. Right. Um, he says at the beginning when they first hunt, like to they want to strip down and then cover themselves in it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And uh, so they even bring they even bring a little uh, little piece of troll stench or you know a couple blocks of troll stench and there's one troll stench left and it's our cameraman, uh, the Christian cameraman that's he's freaking out he's like oh, he doesn't like that he has to stay there too long and so he's sweating he's he's sweating off the troll stench and uh, he's you know just. The troll stench is going away. It is like very, very loose deodorant, you know. So it's like right. it, it dissipates. There's no more troll stench left, and he's freaking out. And the troll starts smelling him, and uh, the rest of the gang's like, "What? What are you doing? Like, what? Why are you freaking out?" Um, he's like, "I'm a Christian," and uh, yeah, that was like one of the few. Uh, <laughs> that was one of the few um, <laughs> English things that he said. So that's I'm how he said it. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Ding a ding a dirk. Yeah. Culturally appropriate. <laughs> gotta, gotta fill that quota, dude. Absolutely. Um, but <laughs> so, you know, the, the trolls now notice these guys and they run, like, they're, they are trying to escape, but our our cameraman dies. Like, he, he gets caught, he dies, and uh, they do manage to get the. Um, now somewhat busted camera, they retrieve it, and so, you know, they're all distraught the next day, and they're, you know, whatever, but, um, they have to continue on, you know, they have to, you know, make it, because they're like, that's what cameraman would want us to do, that's his name, I'll just call him cameraman for now, that's what cameraman would want Even though cameraman was the one who didn't want to do it at all. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Essentially, yeah. Whoops! <laughs> it's it, now it's their own Vandy project. In there. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, um, but that's okay. It keeps the movie going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it it uh, it, it uh, allows us to find a better way to end the movie than oh, Cameraman dies. The end. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if that's how every single movie ends? Dude, I would be so happy. <laughs> the cameraman dies. Like, how how does Star Wars end? Cameraman chokes to death in space. And that's how There's that no is. resolution. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know what? When uh, when I make my next grand Jewish film, that's what I'm going to do. And, th- and at the end, I'm just going to put <laughs> in honor of Recapitate. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is, by the way, this is the asshole who... <laughs> Started the recapitate meme. I should, I should, I should point that out. Yeah, <laughs> that is all your fault. It's the great. It's so <laughs> fucking stupid. Let's uh, let, okay, we can get back to troll because we still have to talk about the big troll. But let's talk about let's talk. I'm about... talking about the biggest troll right now, and that's you. <laughs> all right, no, no, no. we got to, <laughs> we got to talk about. About our our time at uh, <laughs> in Savannah. Oh God! All right. Uh. <laughs> so I went to Savannah with this guy and our friends, uh, Word Philosophy and uh, Son of a Mitch. Son of a Mitch. Yeah. We went there to hang out and uh, we like shot some video stuff. We hung out and uh, I'm just gonna let you take it because this is your your <laughs> doing. So. <laughs> 
Uh, well, Mitch and I started just <laughs> like going like, <laughs> well, when we were at the parade, we we just like yell like out loud, it's like, oh my gosh, is that the recapitate? <laughs> oh yeah, I should say this if if you if you on my channel uh, that on the street video at St. Patrick's Day, this is where we did it. Uh, yeah, that's what yeah. they're talking. That's what he's talking about. Oh yeah. We're- <laughs> We're like the the recapitate featuring the Dave Captivo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the recapitate side of me is a completely different person. <laughs> yeah. In fact, did you see the fucking thing in uh in the in uh Jeff Topspin the Fuzzies uh uh fight video in the, the, the yes. Reddit joke? Yes. I was fucking like, God damn it. Like <laughs> Oh, it was great. It was fantastic. Um, but yeah, so uh, that was that was a good time. Um, but uh, but I'm sure the I'm sure the people listening to this podcast right now don't want to don't want to listen. They, to they sure do love those inside jokes about that. inside the jokes. fun we're having, and they're not absolutely. Yeah. So um, let's 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 continue on. Um, uh, yeah, so... Let's talk about the big troll. Let's talk about the big troll. Big troll. Um, big, big troll. The the Juniper. Is that what it's called? Or Jonna... J- no, Juniper's something else. We'll call him Julie. It starts with a J. Julie, alright. Yeah. Julie. Julia Roberts, um, <laughs> is, uh... Julia is, Roberts is, is a big, fat <laughs> troll. Let me tell you. <laughs> Recapitate 2017. <laughs> <laughs> You dick. <laughs> All right, but anyway, um, uh, no. So Julia Roberts is the troll that only one person has ever seen. It's the size of a mountain. All right, and uh, like apparently there's uh, not sightings, but some, you know, some of those uh, earthquake readings that. You know, Hans is like, "Hey, this might be the Julia Roberts trampling around." It's, it's called a seismograph. A seismograph, yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so Julia Roberts is. Uh, um, I could. I know, could be wrong. I'm just trying to sound. I smart. think. I think. I think you're right. I think it's a seismograph. Yeah. So, we're like, all right, we need to get her. Um, get her. <laughs> As if I'm still talking about Julia Roberts. Get her. <laughs> Get her, boys. Oh. Now nah, let's just transition because everyone's sick of the Julia Roberts joke. Um, so we'll, the, we'll change it up. We'll just uh, we'll call it a uh, uh, Josh Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. That's fine. Yeah. So so Jim Jam James <laughs> son um, is is the troll that you've had that built up for so long. <laughs> I have. <laughs> but but anyway, so uh, so the big troll is what everyone or what what Hans is thinking. Is kind of stirring up the other trolls, the smaller trolls, um, which are still huge, uh, but are you know kind of moving them out of the territory, and uh, so with uh, with new camera person, which I should add is a, is another funny joke that I found um, was uh, uh, the the new camera person gets off the train. I think she's French or something like that, and uh, they're like, oh, you know, are you ready for this? And you know they people do the documentary they're kind of like hans now they're they're uh you know they've been through it they just watched their friend die they're like are you ready for this like there's there's no going back after this there's you know and to, and, and it almost sounds like it could be the end of the movie and then like lead into the sequel yeah exactly but you know they're they're all like very stoic and you know they've seen some stuff um, but you know, and then it's like they went through Nam, and they're like, "I've seen some shit." Really, really, yeah. And then like this, this new, this new camera girl that they hired is like this bubbly, like, "Hey, so uh, we're we're doing we're doing some animal documentary," and they're like, "Yeah, animal documentary." And then and they're like, yeah. "She's like, okay, cool. Uh, anything is like, uh, you're not a Christian, are you?" She's like, "No, I'm a Muslim." And uh, they look at Hans, and they're they're like, "What's that mean?" He's like. I don't know. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll have to see. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. Um, yeah, Hans is by far probably the best part of the movie. Yeah, I will say he he's great. He, he he's kind of a badass. Yeah, he's just one of those stoic, uh, nonsensical, you know, kind of kind of you know hunters. You know, it's uh, and and I think whoever played the role 
uh, did a really good job. Um, hey, shout out to that guy. Yeah, that guy, Hans, Hans Van Harken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to run that one. Into, we, have, yeah. we haven't already. Yeah. Uh, I, he's the only Hans that I know personally. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't except maybe Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber, yeah, that's another. Yeah. Hans Gruber. <laughs> Hans Gruber van Haken. <laughs> the troll hunter. <laughs> I I am Hans Gruber van Haken, the troll hunter. Uh, the, 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 I, I hunt Julia Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch has it coming. <laughs> I am tired. When's the last time you saw Julia Roberts in anything? I don't know, dude. I have no idea. Um, what, what, what about you? I don't know. Everybody listening, put your favorite Julia Roberts role in the, in, in the comments. And if you do that, I'll ban you. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe for Julia Roberts memes. <laughs> All right, screw screw horror movies. This is now the the Julia Roberts podcast. We're gonna talk only about her feature film roles. All right, whoever's whoever's doing the illustration needs to draw Hans and Harkin in an Elmer Fudd like a costume. Oh god! And, and Julia Roberts is a troll with troll face on a t shirt. Riley's gonna listen to this when I tell him what to do, and he's gonna just be like, "I'm I quit." Oh, uh, <laughs> Riley's awesome though. Freaking yeah, he's yeah. he's a good boy. Ziddy, yeah. He does, yeah. The guy, yeah, freaking, yeah. Shout him out, dude. I, I guess I should. The guy who's done my title cards forever is Ziddy Bones on Twitter. Follow him if you like his work. Yeah, because he he does these cards every week, and they make my voice tolerable. Yeah, he, because he's, Lord God knows nothing else could do that. <laughs> he's a good boy. Um, he's a good boy. Yeah, but uh, so 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 let's let's start sprinting to the end of this movie. Um, where, uh, <laughs> if we ever can, um, where, uh, like, they find themselves in this, like, little abandoned, sh- I don't want to call it abandoned, I think it's Hans's shack, um, and, uh, it's kind of out in the middle of, like, a very, very mountainous, non, um, rocky, rocky, very rocky mountainous kind of area, mm-hmm. no trees anywhere, um, and, uh, they're just kind of, like, sitting out there because that's where all the, uh, all the seismograph um, uh, readings are, you know, the most uh, the most prominent. And eventually, they do see over over the horizon the uh, the very big, scary troll man. Um, and he's white, and coincidentally, he's on the cover of the movie. So, spoiler alert: there he is. <laughs> well, I mean, they had to save the best. You know, they they got they got a tease in the audience. I get it. Of course, yeah, of course, he's a big boy. Uh, <laughs> That's a big boy. Hey, hey, hey big boy. Um, but no, he he's huge. Like I think he's like uh, the size of like a of a modest building in New York. Um, Do you think it's like this might be a stretch, but you know uh, Moby Dick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think it has any correlation with like the white whale? Whoa, not at all. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, I actually do. <laughs> I got shot the fuck down. <laughs> no, I, I, like, that was legit when I was like, because <gasps> like, I didn't think about that. That's a, that's, that's a good comparison right there. I'm sure that was probably the case. I haven't felt more disappointment in one area since I told my dad I make an internet podcast. <laughs> Poor daddy recapitate. <laughs> Redad, 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 I, 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 I'm, try, I'm trying to make that joke, but Redad, 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 Redad. That's. Uh, I'm glad that I could uh, be the harbinger for Redad. How many, how many horror movies about are there about dads? Because I want to do an episode for Father's Day. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I want to have my dad on the show. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would that be if I literally just brought, just asked my dad? He's like, "Hey, dad, do you want to talk about horror movies?" He's like, "Yeah, we'll talk about when we adopted you." And I'll be like, "Wow, well, dad, that sure is funny." <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want uh, for the for the dad episode, I could uh, get my dad uh, to be on here because he's a ghost. <laughs> that's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's yeah. my dad now. <laughs> he picked up the tortoise and got shocked to death. That's that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, man. Good old, good old fashioned dead dad jokes on your friends and <laughs> friends podcast. Can you tell I hate myself yet, everybody? 
Is this the, I think this is, I think this is the one. I think this is the one where everybody's like, "Wow, wow, Dave really he, he's struggling, man." <laughs> he, he may he may not make it much longer. <laughs> yeah. Twenty three is like the new sixty, and you know a bullet solves everything. Anyway, back to Troll Hunter. This is this, <laughs> this is number twenty three. No, it's but what, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, I, I thought you thought this was episode twenty three. No, You're talking no, about no. your age. No, yeah, I'm talking about my age. <laughs> well, that's not, that's not that far off. This is twenty six. So. Oh. I'm sorry. This is twenty. No, this is twenty seven. Oh. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Troll Hunter. <laughs> I like how that's like like the word troll hunter has become like the that happens a lot like on this show now like whenever like I go off tangent just the title of the movie usually becomes like the bring back it's like it's like the safe word yeah yeah it kind of is dude this is a uh, this whole episode is just off tangent you know what I don't apologize why do I have to apologize yeah you, exactly you don't pay for this <laughs> yeah all right but if you would like to shut shut the fuck up. <laughs> Finish the goddamn movie so I can go to sleep and not talk to you. <laughs> so Hans So Hans then gets his magic lasso. <laughs> <laughs> he lassoes Julia Roberts. Why why was that the thing that got me? What the fuck? I I I, th- I, th- I thought of fucking him in like a Wonder Woman outfit. With like with like the fucking like lasso. And it just, it just imagine Hans von Harkin in a Wonder Woman outfit. God, Hans von Harkin, I, I am sorry if you ever hear this. Hans is a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, you, you're cool, but you're a meme now. Yeah. <laughs> you're a troll, honey. You're a troll, honey. Why did you have to make him part of the recapitate lore? He didn't ask for this. You brought him in. Well, get him, get him to be on another episode. All right, that's the only way. Uh, this is this is confirmed now. Hans von Harkin will be on the show before I die. <laughs> he's like, what? watch him be like. I show him this. He's like, fuck no. <laughs> He'll be like, so uh, why why am I here now? Uh, Perry, Perry told you to. I'm gonna have it's gonna be like an intervention thing, or I'm gonna have you and him, and I'm not even gonna be on the episode. I'm like, just figure it out. So, uh, Hans, what? <laughs> Julia Roberts. We just start God damn it! Memes. God damn it! This is this is horrible. <laughs> Troll this hunter. Is, this is the worst rated episode. <laughs> this is this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh let's sort of wrap up the film because I I, I got to get yeah. into a a fan question today. Okay, the answer is no. There, you know which one you are asking the question. Thank you for listening to Recapitate, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Um, but and the yeah. no, yeah. Let's let's finish this out. Yeah, the end of it is uh it is. I really like the ending a lot because it. It's not mm-hmm. necessarily a happy one. Basically, what happens is at the end, uh, I, I said way beforehand that the guy who is in charge of like, the EPA was like, you're not going to keep those tapes. Mm-hmm. Well, at the end of the whole thing, he basically comes in with a bunch of like security dudes, and they try to take the camera, and the kids are taken away, right? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, they they uh, they start booking it. Yeah. They, 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 they try to outrun... Um, outrun the uh, the feds or whatever the equivalent of the feds are um, in the snow uh, in in the dawn of the morning and uh, well, th- that's redundant but you know in in the morning um, and uh, it's it kind of just ends there um, well one of them drops the camera and then yeah it, it yeah, does get point. picked up by a guy in a truck. You see, yeah, because that's right. somehow, like according in, in the lot in the uh, universe of this movie, this footage was found mysteriously. Scientists have confirmed it to be real. You know what I mean? Oh. That at the beginning. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like trolls are real. That's what they said. <laughs> trolls, I I believe in them. They they real. <laughs> I am tired. It, it, <laughs> God, don't don't even get into that one. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to see that later. That's that that that's a nod to something in the future, mm, boys and girls. Yeah, you'll, you'll see something that he and uh, us two did with some friends. Mm-hmm. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> um, Troll Hunter. It's a good movie. Yeah, uh, go take a look at it. Um, 
I mean, just look at the picture of it, and then you'll get it, and then you won't have to yeah, watch it. Yeah, like I said, it's a very, uh, more of a spectacle piece. Uh, the Hans character is the best part of it. Uh, you're supposed to relate to the kids, like, being mm-hmm. thrown into this thing you've never seen before, so. Yeah. Um, the designs are cool. Uh, it's a fun film. Uh, check it out. Yeah, absolutely. All right. It's a good time. If you like to read... Yeah, that's the downside. If you, if you like to, you know, be smart, you have to do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a thing now because I have a question from my friend Cameron. Uh, Cameron Owen, or Dick Puncherello on Twitter, because he is now an executive producer of this show because he donated to the Patreon and got the highest tier. So he got everything, and dude, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know you're listening right now. Thank you so much. You, it, it's amazing that you, you helped me out like that. I love you to death, man. And because of that, I'm going to answer your question, and you can ask now from now on questions for me and the guests uh, if you use that tier on the Patreon. Yep. And the question we're going to start it off with is, have you guys ever been so scared you pissed your pants? That's what... That's what Cameron hmm. wants to know. Hmm. Well, hmm. I, I'm really trying to think. Like, it was pro. I, I mean, I, there's probably many times when I was like a kid, like I woke up from a nightmare, like with pee pants. Yeah, I. Uh, I guess to like maybe help you, um, maybe give you a couple more uh, minutes to think. <laughs> Uh, because they're asking you, not me. Um, no, you, you're roped uh, into this too, man. It, it's, I, it's, I, I am roped into this, but they're here for your podcast. They're not here for According me. to the patron, it's for me and the guests. Okay. Um, all right, but uh, me? I can't say I have. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever been that scared. I think I may have come close, but apparently I have, like, a really good uh, control of my bladder, apparently. Um because I, I, like I said, I've been close, but like I think it's because of the, of the, f- the, the actual fear of see of people seeing me pee my pants that keeps me from peeing my pants. Um, <laughs> so that's an interesting power. Yeah, it really is. It's like the okay. I'll, I'll give I'll give you a story. All right, um, another story. So a uh, couple friends and I we went up to Michigan. Uh, my my family has this like this cabin. Up in uh, up in Traverse City, Michigan, and we went to the Sleeping Bear Dunes. Um, it's it's these nice sand dunes that you know it's like a national park. You you run up the sand dunes, you 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 you, you hike, or you just run down. The sand dunes are fun, right? Um, and I used to always go as a kid. I would always run up, and I'd go, you know, whatever. But so I, again, I ran up the sand dunes as a now animator that doesn't really do as much physical activity as I used to do, so I'm morbidly out of shape in comparison to what I used to be. And uh, I get up there, and I'm like, yeah, I did it! And I fell down, and I collapsed. And I'm like, oh no, I feel terrible. I feel like I'm gonna <laughs> die. And, uh, and but, not, but more importantly, I'm like, I think I'm gonna crap my pants. I am gonna crap myself in front of all these people. No, I'm going to die and I'm going to crap my pants because my heart is killing me right now because I ran up the Sleeping Bear Dunes. And my my friend comes up to me, uh, like, that that came up there with us. She goes up to me. She's like, Perry, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I uh, I feel like I'm going to pass out. Uh, I really want to pass out, but I know that if I pass out, I'm just going to poop my pants. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stay awake. And not poop my pants because I don't want people to see me passed out and pooped pants. <laughs> so you you were conscious enough to tell yourself that. Yes, I was fading in and out, but I didn't want to poop my pants. Jesus, <laughs> have you ever pooped your pants? <laughs> no. 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 The last time I peed my pants was like I think I was like in kindergarten, and like I peed I peed my pants, and I think it was like during recess, and then it was like right before recess, everyone was leaving, so not a lot of people saw it, but I'm like. I peed my pants, and then I like, like did like the uh, the saddle sore like crotchety walk over to like the main like teacher's like <laughs> telephone, and I called my mom like, "Mom, I need new pants or go home." And she's like, "Perry, what?" No, she didn't do that, but um, but but I I got to go home that day, so I learned to pee my pants so I could go home. Perfect. It's a great defense mechanism. <laughs> it is. Um. <laughs> No, I don't think I've ever peed my pants for being scared. Unless, like I said, it was a nightmare waking up when I was a child. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I did have a story once where I pissed myself in class uh, to get out of a math test. Wait, to get out of a test? What? Yeah, I was I was in All like right, uh, I was I was in like seventh grade, mm-hmm. um, and uh, there was this test <laughs> that I I, I I was not prepared for. It was like a geometry test, I think it was. Mm-hmm. So, and I real I really had to use the restroom. Wait, how old did you say you were? Uh, seventh what? grade. Seventh. Oh gosh. All right, keep going. It's t- too old. I I should I should put this out. <laughs> Too old. There's a yeah. cutoff for peeing of yourself. Of course. All right. Of course. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> proud. I'm not proud of this moment. Let me point this mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I really had to go to the bathroom, but and I also did not want to uh, take this geometry test because I was not prepared <laughs> for it. math. Is not my strong suit. I'll, I'll say that as far math as sucks. academics, math does suck. And uh, I, I thought, wow, wouldn't it be wacky if I combined these two problems? <laughs> <laughs> Just to see what happened. <laughs> and as a result, I decided to uh, let it flow, as they would say. <laughs> and um, as a result, I raised my hand and said, uh, her name is Miss Halbert. Miss Halbert, I, I, I pissed my... I, I didn't piss. I didn't say piss, but... Uh, I I I wet myself. I think was the, the term. <laughs> I think was the terminology used, and uh, because of that, because of that, I I got to leave the classroom during oh, the no. test. I got to leave the classroom during the test to clean myself up, and I got to make up the test the next week. <laughs> Flawless. That and I boy. guess what? Guess what? I don't. I still think I did bad on the test. <laughs> Learn. I didn't learn. Uh, <laughs> that, and that's why they call you the Great Recapitate. So listen, kids, if you're ever in a situation you're uncomfortable with, you're not prepared for, say, a, a wedding proposal, some mm-hmm. uh, like filing your taxes, uh, getting rid of a corpse, <laughs> just just wet yourself. Yeah, that's the yeah. solid advice, Cameron. And I do appreciate you, as well as I'm going to give a shout out this week uh, for the month to the patrons who support me now. Uh, Gage Agnew, who is the host of an awesome podcast called Almost Adults, which you should check out. Uh, Freak Ajibus, thank you very much. Uh, Cheb, oh. uh, you know who you are, Cheb. Cheb Boy. You know who Cheb, Cheb is. Cheb Boy. Thank you, too. Mm-hmm. And like I said, uh, CJ or Cameron. Uh, and if you want to uh, support the show, uh, you know, if you like the last hour of complete bullshit, um, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The best way now is I do have a Patreon, as we jokingly said. Uh, it's patreon.com slash recapitate. There's a bunch of cool rewards. Uh, I basically just want to make the show bigger and better for you guys because I love making it. And there's a lot of plans I have for it. So if you are interested in helping out or just getting some cool behind-the-scenes stuff and a bunch of different perks, just check it out. There's a link in the description. All that jazz. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah. You get it. I get it. Let's end this fucker. Perry. How should we end the episode? Mm, I don't know. How should we end the episode? God damn it. You know the shtick here. I have to... <laughs> this has happened 27 episodes. <laughs> you know what? I figured it out. <laughs> okay. All right. Like I said, the best way that anything should end is the cameraman should die. So, uh, mm-hmm. Perry, I'm going to need you to... I'm going to need you to hold still for a second. All okay. Right? All right. Get, gotcha. Just, gotcha. Just don't move, okay? Yep, yep, yep. I am a Christian! Alright, now I'm, I'm gonna put this. I'm, I'm just gonna point this uh, at your head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay? And, uh, you'll be dead. Oh. It's funny because it rhymes. Oh, deadhead. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot you now. No! I gotta plug my stuff before! Oh, okay. Wait, I'm not. I'm... Are you dead? No, I want to plug my stuff. Oh no, Perry, you're dead. You're a ghost. I uh, well, oh, all right. Ghost, per- go. ghost Perry, plug your stuff. All right, follow me at Scary Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Everybody, this is not a joke. Follow at Scary Lucifer. Retweet every tweet Lucifer makes. <laughs> if you don't, you're dead to me as an audience. <laughs> I want Boosifer on this fucking show. Dude, let's get get Cole on here. Talk him, tell him tell him to tell you about Boosifer. Dude, I'm coming to I'm coming to do Boo Blasters. 
dude. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Nobody else, nobody knows what we're talking about. Fuck. All it. right. Go. You're still a ghost. Fucking plug your shit. Oh. Uh. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug uh, Bucifer. He is the ghost uh, in in Boo Blasters in Cincinnati, Ohio's um, Kings Island amusement park. Uh, go shoot him. Um, follow at Bucifer. <laughs> Uh, and then if you want to see my animations and drawings, uh, go to my YouTube channel. It's just Perry Hall. If you want to, if you, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's just Perry Hall. Yeah. Okay. The now, Boosifer. Yeah, Boosifer. <laughs> now you, you know, you, now Ghost Perry, you can go join Boosifer because you're dead. But he's the meanest ghost. You got, you got to work for him now. No. You you got you got to work at Poop Blasters now. That no, you're I don't want families to come and shoot me. Well, you should have thought about that before you came on my podcast. Good point. Goodbye. Good night, everybody. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>